வெல்கம் டு டெக்கி மாஸ்டர் சேனல் வெல்கம் டு டெக்கி மாஸ்டர் சேனல் ஸோ திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் த இண்டக்டர் ஓகே ஸோ வை த இண்டக்டர் இஸ் ப்ரொடியூசிங் தி ஆப்போசிட் கரண்ட் இன் நீட் ஸோ வி நோ ரெஜிஸ்டர் கெப்பாசிட்டர் இண்டக்டர்ஸ் திஸ் ஆர் ஆல் பேசிக் எலிமெண்ட்ஸ் இன் எலக்ட்ரிக்கல் சர்க்கியூட் ஸோ ஒன் ஹூ அண்டர்ஸ்டூட் தீஸ் த்ரீ காம்பனன்ஸ் வெரி வெல் கேன் ஈஸிலி அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் த சப்ஜெக்ட் ஆஃப் எலக்ட்ரிக்கல் and electronics as well as communication also because these three components are basically uh, wide used in all these uh, fields okay so let's get into the detail so before uh, going over uh, so let's see some key points what are the points we are going to discuss so first ordinary conductor versus inductor second why uh, inductor is an elect- uh, energy storage device and the third one is principle of self induction and how do they work and fourth one is some of the sample pictures of inductors then uses of inductors then alternative names then how we are measuring the value of inductors okay so ordinary conductor versus inductor you see this picture we have a ordinary conductor so which is a, a straight proper conductor so whenever the current flowing through the conductor there is a magnetic field around or flux lines around the conductor so this direction of the conductor and the flux line based on the um, thumb rule okay you can find out the direction so so this is the basic conductor and if you take the basic conductor and you wind like a coil okay then that is known as inductors so current in conductor is flowing straight but here in coil it is not flowing straight because it is circular motion it is flowing in circular direction so when this current is flowing in circular direction it creates a flux line around each of the circle uh, circular portion of the conductor you see here yeah, here yeah. and uh, let me show in the big diagram you see this is the inductor coil okay so when the current is flowing there is a circle around the conductor that is known as the flux lines around the conductor so because of these flux lines it cuts the adjacent conductor and there is an emf induced and like this conduct uh, flux lines around this conductor cuts this uh, inductor coil and there is also emf induced so this is called self induced emf or back emf because why this is known as self induced emf the emf which is induced in the conductor itself so the conductor is the current is coming from outside and it creates some flux line that flux line again conduct to the same current then again it is producing the emf that is known as self induced emf or back emf which opposes the direction of the current which is coming inwards the conductor so there is always opposing current of inward current it because of the reactance pro- properties of the inductor that means resistance property of the resistor similar case inductance also having some resistance property that is known as reactance okay so this picture what do you see there is a inductor coil around magnetic flux lines so these flux lines because of the individual uh, flux lines around the each Uh, conductor of the each uh, um, circular portion of the uh, uh, inductor coil okay so so the energy is storing in this magnetic field so that is the speciality of the inductor so in inductor energy is stored in the magnetic field okay that is a key point we have to keep in our mind so let's see this diagram uh a resistor connected with the dc source which has a square wave input and the load which is r that is also uh, pro, uh, that is also having same current that is a square wave current okay. this is the property of the resistor so resistor does not have any uh, storage nothing like inductor so whatever the input is coming same kind of same kind of current is flowing through resistor also as a resistor that does not have any opposing property like inductor and capacitor so if you take this diagram we are passing square wave input okay and what is happening the current is flowing through the inductor uh, 
and it creates a flux line around the coils which cuts the adjacent coils and induces the back emo for self induced emo that is producing the opposite current which is opposing this current okay so at the initial stage so this current is always trying to oppose so the current uh, resultant current will be slowly gradually increasing okay like a curvature so uh, exponentially increasing so after attaining certain level i mean the magnetic field is uh, stored completely so the inductor current flowing through the inductor is attaining the maximum value so that is known as steady state and the current where it is getting raised that period is known as a transient state so initially and the current is passing through the inductor it is gradually increasing so after the energy is stored it comes to steady state condition so this is the current with, with respect to time curve of the inductor suppose we take inductor and uh, in parallel with a lamp connecting to dc source you see here we have two switches s1 and s2 so when i uh, when i close s1 so inductor is getting charged means energy from battery is storing into the inductor you see current direction is flowing like this and now what i do is uh, with respect to this graph the storing mode the current is slowly increasing gradually increasing and attaining the maximum level okay. so this is known as a storing mode so after storing mode what do we do we are opening the switch s1 and we are uh, closing switch s2 so what are the energy stored in the inductor getting released via the lamp so the lamp is lamp is glowing so you see this releasing mode so once the storing mode is uh, completed when we start the releasing mode so the energy stored in the inductor is getting released you see this curve is falling from top to bottom so this is releasing mode so this lamp will be glowing till the time the complete charge is getting discharged from the inductor so your energy storage inductor is dissipating as heat in the lamp so once the energy all the energy is released the lamp is going off condition so this case we are applying ac supply to the inductor okay so when we apply ac supply to the inductor so current il inductive current is flowing through the inductor and there is a voltage drop voltage induced uh, voltage across the inductor is vl okay inductance voltage that inductance voltage always equal to value of the inductance l multiply by the dil by dt so dil by dt is the rate of change of uh, inductor current so the voltage always uh, proportional to the rate of change of the inductor current if there is no any change in the current flowing through the inductor then there is no voltage also so the all the voltage applied uh, i mean in due, um, across the conductor i mean inductor is uh, proportional to the changes of the current only okay if there is no changes in the current there is no voltage across the inductor so and this curve shows the uh, voltage across inductor current uh, flowing through the inductor so uh, this is uh, sine wave basically because uh, the ac supply what we apply is also sine wave so same sine wave produced in voltage as well as the current also so current is lagging with respect to the voltage almost 90 degree you see this phi which shows 90 degree so 90 degree phase difference we have between the voltage across inductor and the current flowing through the conductor which cause the lagging power factor so why this lagging is creating here because when we so connect the inductor across the supply initial inductor is getting uh, it, it, it trying it is trying to get the energy okay, inside so and in case of ac supply so inductance has some resistance property so it means what are the current flowing through the inductance that resistance property of the inductance is opposite always so that makes a delay here okay so that is what known as 
inductive reactance uh, it's like uh, resistance in the resistor circuit similar case we can refer inductive reactance in the inductor circuit because of this inductive reactance there is a lagging between voltage and current because that reactance opposes the inductive current which is flowing through that inductor okay so there is a lagging of inductive current with respect to the voltage so this way you can understand here so these are all some sample pictures we can see some toroidal core inductor and a lot of magnetic core inductors and even transformer also a kind of inductor so these are all being used in different places electrical electronics and even communication purpose also so let's see the uses there we used i mean choking so choke we use for electrical fluorescent lamp and blocking attenuating and filtering high frequency noise so these are all in electrical as well as communication transform or circuit also and storing and transferring energy in power converters in electronic circuits most of the places you see inductor coil that will store the energy and release for that purpose purpose only they use most of the places and the bug boost converters and the lc filter AC, if you take ac to dc converter the output of the uh, ac to dc converter having some ripples that can be filtered through lc filters inductor and capacitor combinations so inductor is having the capacity i mean can function the filter also it can smooth the ripples so that is what that is why because the nature of the inductance is always opposing the rate of change of current that way it makes the curve smooth okay so next one is measuring the value of inductance uh, we have the meter to measure the value of inductance uh, especially there is a meter lc or inductance capacitance resistance meter you see in this picture this is the lc or meter and uh, you see the, this one is inductor coil they are connected across this uh, this coil and they can measure the inductance value of 16.84 henry so inductance is always measured uh, in henry okay, the unit thanks for watching the video uh, please subscribe for more tutorial videos uh, subscribe the channel and uh, give thumbs up and please share this video to your friend and uh, give your comment and uh, please don't forget to uh, press the bell icon button while pressing bell icon button press notification for all so that you can get the notification whenever i post the video so thanks for watching the video we will meet in the next video bye